Okay, Ayla, this video may end up being a little bit long, but I'm sure in the end you will end up with what you're looking for. All right, so I know you already have a bow. Um, to get the outline, all you need to do is Control D, and that duplicates it right on top. So drag this over here. I'm going to put it off of my page because this is where I'm going to keep all of my duplicates. All right, and then come to your fill and stroke panel, which is this paintbrush icon right here. All right, and um, under the fill tab, turn that fill off. Under the stroke, turn it on by hitting this blue one right here. And then come to stroke style and increase your width to about five. For cutting, you want it to be at least a five. You may even want it thicker than that. All right, so you're going to need this for later so just go ahead and leave that there all right then you have your rectangles so grab your rectangle tool and draw out a rectangle now you have a stroke so you need to go back to your stroke paint turn that off and your fill and turn that on okay then um Let's see, you had four, five, six, seven, eight, nine squares. So the first thing you want to do is select that square, come up to path, object path. It needs to be a path, okay? Not a rectangle. All right. So once you've done that, you can um, hold control and hit duplicate eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then I'm going to just go ahead and move this one, I don't know, about here select all of them and then come to your align and distribute and um, raise all of them up you know to the top so they're aligned perfectly and then you're going to want to make the horizontal gaps equal all right so you can see that you have that space there that's so just grab one hold control and bring it over and maybe even this one a little bit um, and then try that again okay then all your gaps are closed all right so then we have um let's see i think yours started with purple and then white and then black and then white and then purple and then white and black and white and purple okay so now you can select all of those again and um, align them to the top if you want then you're going to select your all your purples hold shift and just click on them and then go to path union all right deselect somewhere over here where there's not anything you know where it's a blank page all right, so then select the white one, hold shift, select all of the white ones, and do path union. And then also for the black, hold shift, path union. See, if you select all of these and you path union, they're going to all turn one color, which was the problem that you were having. Okay, so then um, you have some text, and I forgot got exactly what it was I think it was GCU maybe and L O P E S okay so first thing I want to do with these is uh, go to path object path ungroup and then select each one and do path union okay path union then I'm going to get them, you know, lined up about like this, select them all, click on them again to get my rotation handles, and turn them sideways. That's kind of like what you had. Okay, so then I can go ahead and union those. All right, then I'm going to click on this, and I'm going to duplicate it. Um one, two, three, four times so that I have five all together. Then I'm going to go ahead and bring this down about to here and select them all. And then I can align them to the left side and 
um, then I'm going to um, distribute them vertically, all right? Okay, so that's that. Then I can select this and union that, all right? Then I'm going to need maybe, I don't know, maybe three more. So I'll select it and I'll hit Control D one, two, three more times. I'll drag this one over to here. I will distribute them horizontally. And as you can see, I didn't have them far enough apart. So I'll go ahead and move this over a little bit. Try it again. And that looks okay. All right, so then I'm going to select them all and I'm going to align them to the top. And then I'm going to path union. All right, so now I have this, which I can hold control and make a little bit smaller. Okay, I'm going to also control D to duplicate that so that I have a duplicate. I'm going to actually control D this so I have a duplicate of that as well. Okay, so then you wanted um, the names cut out of the purple and the white. So to do that, um, select your text. Let me zoom in here a little bit. Select your text layer, okay? Hit Control D because you're gonna need two of them and click off somewhere and then select one and select your purple. Just make sure that you don't click on any text here. Hold shift and select your purple layer and then go to uh, path difference. Okay, now because you have this here, you're not gonna see anything yet. So just hang on. Grab this one and a white area and then do path difference. Okay, so now you can see that your names are all cut out. If I zoom in here, you can see the gray behind the white, meaning that that is cut out. Okay, so then um, I'm going to, let's see, how am I going to do this? Because what you wanted was this, then let me raise this to the top cut out into the bow. So uh, let me, I'm so used to working in the StarCraft Create that I'm going to actually change this color. There we go. Uh, that my shortcut keys are different. Okay, so now you want this to fill the bow. So to do that, uh, let's select the bow and duplicate that one, two times just by hitting control D and hit the D twice. All right. And then we can select one bow and, uh, hold shift and select the blue and go to path intersection. Okay. Don't worry that it disappeared. Select the pink and then hold shift and select the white and do path intersection and then select the bow and the black by holding shift and path intersection and then select it all and group it and I believe that that is what you are looking to do if not let me know